Hey everybody, my name is Mike Montgomery and today I'd like to show you how I built this nice two-seater entryway bench with a built-in side table on modern builds. Wow. So as you guys just saw, this video is brought to you by Ancestry DNA, which if you're not already familiar with is an at-home DNA kit that can tell you more about where your ancestors might have come from. All you have to do is use the kit that they send to you to send out a saliva sample that then they process and do all their science to, and then about six to eight weeks later, you get your results sent directly to your inbox. Now before we get into my results, I wanna give one more big thanks to Ancestry DNA for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in checking out their service, go to ancestry.com slash builds and you get 10% off your purchase. Now my results are gonna be on my phone, but I'll put them on the screen as well so you can see them too. So looking at my results it turns out my ancestors were very European <laughs> which is what I was expecting. On my dad's side of the family what he told me I should probably be expecting is Irish and German. Same thing on my mom's is on the Irish part but also some Great Britain ancestors as well. So looking at the chart it says 51% Western European and which is kind of the whole lump of Germany, Austria, Netherlands, places like that. So that's really cool because it kind of validates the whole German thing my dad was talking about. I also have 27% Irish. I was expecting that to be a little higher, but hey, that's interesting too. Then going down the list, it says 11% Iberian Peninsula, which is something I was totally not expecting. Even though it is just 11%, that's really cool. And if you don't know what the Iberian Peninsula is, that is where Spain and Portugal is. And finally, to round it out, it says 8% Great Britain, which I was definitely expecting to be higher. And then Scandinavian and Finland, both around two and 1%, which is pretty much nothing. So this is all really cool. I'm gonna take these results, share them with my family, and I'll check back with you later. Later. Whenever I saw that the percentage of Western European was so high in my results, it kind of validated what my dad was saying about there's probably some German in my family. So I sort of dove in and started researching about German design and furniture and architecture, and I came across the Bauhaus movement, which was actually a school of architecture and design that sort of kind of grew into its own style of design and furniture, which sort of paved the way for mid-century design. You guys know how much I enjoy mid-century design, so it was really cool to check out the modernist era around 19 1919, right after World War I, up until World War II, when the Bauhaus school got shut down by the Nazis. Obviously, I've only been researching this for a short period of time, so if I do say anything wrong, correct me down in the comments, because I am really interested in all this, and I want to know. So the whole modernist and Bauhaus design idea is using really industrial materials in a really bare-bones design. Everything is really straightforward. It's sort of detaching itself from the really ornate, traditional styles for the past couple hundred years in Europe. One designer or architect that I really kind of gravitated to was a guy named Mies van der Rohe. If I'm saying that wrong, my bad. He was one of the main influencers in this whole modernist movement and he actually taught at the Bauhaus School of Design. He's got some really great pieces that I'm going to throw up on the screen but the main piece that really influenced me for this project was his platform day bed sofa. It's called the Barcelona couch or sofa. I really love the super thin platform that the bed sits on with a really minimal base. It's all really simple and there's not a lot extra going on which I think is really cool. So obviously I'm not just going to copy what he did so here's my game plan. I'm going to build a sort of entryway kind of two-person bench, but I'm also going to attach a side table to it. That way it kind of flares everything up and kind of makes it my own. So I started by cutting a three-quarter inch piece of maple plywood to 16 inches wide. Then I cut it in half. One of these 48 inch pieces are going to make the bottom of the platform. Then I'm going to cut all of the pieces for the side table out of the other piece. Now all the dimensions for this project are in my written article with a cut list and supplies list, so be sure and check that out. Link is in the description. Once I had all of my pieces cut, I used some edge banding to make sure all of the plywood edges are hidden. And just like with any project, there's about a million ways to put wood together, but for this project, I'm primarily using pocket holes. It's a really quick and really sturdy way to put things together fast. Additional to the pocket screws in each joint, I'm adding a little bit of glue just for some extra strength as well. Pocket holes worked for the top portion of the side table, but unfortunately with the length of the bit that pocket hole jigs use, I had to screw in from the bottom of the platform, just because I couldn't get my drill in there to screw it in otherwise. I just drilled through the top and then used my pocket hole jig drill bit to make a recess for screws on the bottom. That way everything was hidden and still looked really nice. 
Making drawers is also pretty simple and easy once you get the hang of it, especially this method that I'm using. Just keep in mind that you need to take into account the width of your hardware, your drawer slides, when you're cutting all your pieces. Bread nails and glue are a really quick way to put things together, and I'm just using a quarter inch or an eighth inch piece of plywood as my bottom. It doesn't quite go to the edges, that way whenever people pull the drawer out, no one's gonna see that plywood edge showing because it's slightly recessed and they're gonna be looking from the drawer from the top. These are bottom mount Euro slides which are super easy to install. Just install them to the bottom of your drawer, then use a spacer and attach the other piece to your cabinet. Super fast and super easy. And once I knew my drawer fit and tracked properly, I moved it back to the table saw and I cut my drawer face. I just used hot glue to attach it temporarily to the drawer. That way I could come back with screws and attach it permanently. I really like the combination of maple and brass, so I'm using a really nice drawer pull from Brusso Hardware. They're not a sponsor or anything, but they make great hardware and I'll leave a link to them in the description if you want to check them out. Now for the legs, I am not gonna do what the great Mais van der Rohe did. I'm gonna be taking a lot of influence actually from George Nelson and his classic Nelson bench. Like I was talking about, this whole Bauhaus movement was a really big influence going into mid-century design, which George Nelson sorta of dominated. And on Nelson's classic bench, he has some trapezoidal shaped legs that are made out of wood and painted black. So just like on the platform, I'm gonna be taking that as inspiration, but I'm gonna be switching it up a little bit, you know, to make it my own style. Instead of making it a trapezoidal, shape, I'm gonna simplify it a little bit and make it a square frame. I'm just gonna be using simple two by threes that I'm gonna run through the router to remove the rounded edges on the corners and attach everything with pocket hole screws. So these legs really went together quick and the nice thing about pocket holes is you don't really have to wait for the glue to dry to keep working. The screws hold everything in while the glue dries so you can just keep going. So once I had my two legs put together, I just cut my spacer. This is just an extra support that no one's really ever gonna see. It just really helps with stability and if you have someone really heavy sitting on your bench, that extra strength doesn't hurt. Then after I sanded everything to 220 grit, I got my pocket jig drill bit back out and drilled some more recesses for screws. That way I can drill up into the platform and no one's gonna see them. Finally, once everything was put together, I could add a couple coats of polycrylic by Minwax, which is a really nice finish for light colored woods. Of course, being able to sew and make your own cushion is great. Unfortunately, I don't know how to yet, but my mom was nice enough to make a cushion for me, but I'll leave a link in the description to a good tutorial, or at least I think what's a good tutorial on how to sew cushions in the description as well. And with that, the bench is complete in all of its glory. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed this project. I know it was a ton of fun for me to design and build, trying to work in all of these inspiration pieces and styles, yet still keep the overall build very modern builds-esque. I wanna give one more big thanks to Ancestry DNA for allowing me to do the kit, get all the results. I know it was a ton of fun to share for me and my family. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, if you're interested in trying out an Ancestry DNA kit for yourself, go to Ancestry.com slash builds and get 10% off your purchase. And if you do try out a kit, be sure and leave me a comment below or hashtag my ancestry on social media to share your results. And if you guys have any other cool ideas or thoughts on what I should take inspiration on for another project, be sure and leave those in the comments below. I'd love to hear if you guys have any interesting ideas based on what I showed earlier. Finally, if you enjoyed this project, I'd love it if you hit that thumbs up. That way I know what kind of projects you guys are into. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you subscribed. That way you can stay updated every time I post a new project video. If you wanna check out another one of my videos, a couple will pop up here on the screen. Click away and enjoy. We'll see you next week on Modern Builds.